MRC TV readers and viewers likely are aware of the fact that Joe Biden recently ordered foreign shippers coming into the U.S. via ground vehicle or to the U.S. by boat to show proof of so-called vaccination. Well, if you think that that is immoral, unconstitutional, and practical folly, you are absolutely right. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. Saturday was the day that Biden's order went into effect with Department of Homeland Security, DHS, Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas saying in part, starting on January 22nd, 2022, the Department of Homeland Security will require that non-U.S. individuals entering the United States via land ports of entry or ferry terminals along our northern and southern borders be fully vaccinated, wink, wink, against COVID-19 and be prepared to show related proof of vaccination. The Canadian government already established that kind of rule for truckers trying to bring shipments into our northern U.S. neighbor and for Canadian truckers going into the U.S. and trying to return. And the practical result has been an utter disaster. Tens of thousands of Canadian truckers right now, along with their supporters, are engaged in a powerful slow roll protest to Ontario to protest these mandates. And they do not plan on leaving until the government backs off. And as I noted would happen at border crossings such as Nogales, Arizona, the very Nazi-like process of having to check jab status papers is slowing down those who actually have gotten the mRNA injections and try to get into Canada. The vaccine mandate has exacerbated the shortage of truck drivers and made wait times at border crossings even longer. 80% of trade between the US and Canada is transited by truck. America exports about 90% of Canada's fruits and vegetables during the winter season. As shipments decline because only about half of U.S. drivers are vaccinated, so-called, grocery stores report shortages. What a shock. But as I noted for MRC TV previously, all of those practical considerations, as frustrating as they are, are not the factors to consider when looking at the Biden order. The only considerations that matter are the U.S. Constitution, and human freedom, the ethics behind human liberty. Even if Biden's ideas were to somehow stop all deadly disease, and even if this idea were to keep the supply chain somehow smoothly moving, the fact of the matter is that neither he nor Mallorca's have any so-called power to control borders and immigration in the U.S. during times when no war has been declared against another nation. Right now, Vermont TV station WCAX notes, quote, It isn't going to make it easier for us, that's for darn sure, said Bill Smith, who is a lawyer and lobbyist representing the Vermont Truck and Bus Association. He says this vaccine requirement has been anticipated for months, but worries some workers might walk. If you have people that actually quit a business, you hear stories about that, you need to replace them. The business has an obligation to haul freight that they've already agreed to, said Smith, end quote. This is an absolute mess, both practically, morally, and constitutionally. But the U.S. has been like that for a long, long time. I think it's time people learn how it got this bad, going way back in history. And perhaps, even if we can't win any victory right now, we can find satisfaction in learning and sharing that with others. I hope you'll share this video with others, everyone. Please like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Rumble, thank you for finding us where they don't censor us. We'll see you at mrctv.org. We'll see you on Twitter. 
We'll see you on TikTok and Instagram. And of course, please visit mrctv.org and get some items to share with friends. Help support the Media Research Center. I'm on Twitter at Gard Goldsmith, and I'm on Gab at Gardner Goldsmith. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.